Hi everyone, it's Tyler Binkley here and we are looking at using the not operator section today. This is the first section in the logical operators chapter of learn to code one. And if you've stuck with me here or if you are, if you've gotten this far, congrats, you've made it pretty far in the Swift playground learn to code one. And logical operators gets is where it starts to get, in my opinion, a little bit more challenging. So um, using the not operator, let's see what it has in store for us today. Uh, looking at the map, doesn't look like it's too challenging. It, well, it doesn't look like it's going to be too challenging of a map. Uh, at least it's not that complicated. And our goal is use the not operator to adjust your character's path when there's no gem on a tile. Interesting. So when there's no gem on a tile, it we're going to adjust our character's path. That I think is key. Okay. And now it tells us the logical not operator, the exclamation point, a symbol exclamation point that inverts the Boolean value of a piece of code. For example, if A is true, then exclamation point A is false. And, and really what they're saying is that it changes the value to its opposite. It inverts the value. Okay. So if, if there was something, for example, if the condition is blocked is false, then exclamation point is blocked is true. That's the not operator. So they're saying, uh, you know, I like to think of it as like saying, you know, if there is a gem, that would be one thing. But if you put the exclamation point before it, you're saying if there's not a gem, that's really what you're saying. And that is actually the, the uh, little bit of tip that we're going to be using today right here on this section. So um, it says run the puzzle a few times to see what changes. Okay. Notice that there are always four gems, but one is at the bottom of a stairway. When there's no gem on the top platform, the stairs extend from that tile. Oh, interesting. Okay, so if I run it again, you see the stairwell is changing locations. But what's happening is every time right there where Byte is standing, when at the top platform, when there's no gem there, the gem is at the bottom of the stairs. That's going to be kind of key here for, I think, this section. So they have a loop set up for us already. It's a for loop, and they are uh, looping it four times. And right now it's just set up to move forward. And so, um, you know, we're, we're definitely going to be working within that. Uh, and, and let's see what it says. It says, use the exclamation point to determine when your character is not on a gem. If not on a gem, turn and collect the gem at the end of the stairs. Otherwise, collect the gem. So, you know, if I, you know, again, keep running it right now, it's just looping. It's, it, he's just moving forward four times. And the stairwell is random. So we can't just move forward and expect to know like, oh, well, let's just, let's just move forward and go down the stairs when we get there. No, because we don't know when this, where the stairs are going to be. It's changing every time. So we, we have to make a conditional code for this to work. And this, this goes back into the last chapter. So now, you know, now that we're in logical operators, we're going to be using a little bit of all this stuff up above. That's, that's kind of, it's kind of like math, right? Like it, it's constantly building on the previous thing that you learned. So right now, like my thought is, okay, well, why don't we set up a condition, which is, means we're going to use the word if, okay. And my thought is, okay, this, this, the whole logical not operator is when we, you know, we want it to turn and go down the steps when it's not on a gem, right? Like this top platform, when it's not, when there's no gem, that's when you got to turn and go down the stairs and get the gem at the bottom. So we have to use the exclamation point first. It goes before the, the condition. Now, there is no exclamation point. On, whoops, I just made a mistake. There is no exclamation point down here. Okay, that is not, that. that's a letter I right there. That's not an exclamation point. And it's not an upside down exclamation point either. So, you know, that's not going to help us. So in the condition, 
we need to hit, make sure your, your condition is blue. You need to hit the arrow that brings up the keyboard. That is found in the very bottom right hand corner. Okay. And then you bring up your keyboard, find your exclamation point, which is either behind the comma or you can hit the, you know, the tab that brings up symbols and find it. But I'm just going to swipe down. And that right there, okay, is saying if it's not, well, what do we want it to not be on? Well, if it's not on a gem, okay, if it's, if byte is not on a gem, that's what's going to indicate that, hey, this is where the stairs are. You got to go down the stairs and collect the gem. So in the code box, okay, when he's not on a gem, so I'm, I'm kind of imagining him on the tile right behind where he's at right now. I would need to turn left, move forward twice to get to the gem down the steps, collect the gem, okay, collect gem, turn around, which is either two left or two turn, uh, turn rights. I'm going to do two turn lefts and then move forward back up the stairs twice to get to the original spot. And I, I think it would be important since the stairs could be anywhere, it'd be important for us to turn left so that we can be going back in the same direction that we, uh, that we, you know, like we're moving in the first place. So that right there, if I run it right now, just to see what happens, he's going to move forward. Okay. He's saying, nope, it's not, it is on a gem. See, it's not, not on a gem. It is on a gem. So it's just going to keep going back to the beginning of the loop and moving forward because now it recognized it was not on a gem. So now it finally met the condition. Remember our condition was if it's not on a gem because of our exclamation point. So it didn't go down to the left until it was not on a gem, which was the right thing. Everything about this was right, except it didn't collect the gems before the stairs. Okay, now mine keeps showing up at the end, but it, you know, if I run it again, oh, now it's in the beginning. See, it's doing the right thing with the stairs because when it's not on a gem, it's recognizing that, it, that the condition was met. It's going down the stairs, doing what I told it to do in the, in the conditional code. But now why is it not collecting those gems? Well, here's the thing. We have it just moving forward. That's it. Now, we still want it to move forward and check this condition first. So I don't want to put, I don't want to put collect gem right before this conditional code. No, because we don't know that, that there's, you know, that there's like, I mean, we could try that and just, you know, watch and see what happens. Move forward, collect gem, move forward. Oh, now it's, see, now it's just going to try to do the thing on the left. See, now there's no gem. Okay. That's why it's collecting the gem. And then it's thinking, oh, wait, now there's no gem because of the exclamation point on our if statement. And it's saying, well, I'm going to try to do everything you just told me to do when there's no gem. So that's why that doesn't work. Okay. So I'm going to delete that collect gem right there. And the, the, I'm glad I did that to show you that that doesn't work because it needs to go after this condition, right? Like it needs to happen after the condition. So you got to be really careful here. You can't go down at the bottom. Like you're, we're staying within the loop, but at the same, so we don't want to go after, we don't want to go down here. We don't want to go down here where I'm at right now, but we also don't want to be in our if statement because that doesn't, that wouldn't make any sense. You know, if it's not on a gem, do all that stuff and then collect, that doesn't make any sense. We want to do it right between. So now it's still in the loop, but it's not in our conditional uh, if statement that we made. So right here is the money spot. You got to get it right on the dot, like in between those two brackets and then put your collect gem. And if we run that, now let's, let's do this step through my code. Move forward. Oh, okay. I noticed it's not on a gem, so it's going to do our directions for the conditional code. And again, it's because of that exclamation point. You had to have that exclamation point right before is on gem. And now look, move forward. Oh, it is on a gem, so collect it. Move forward. Oh, wait, it is on a gem, so collect it. It's skipping the conditional code when it's supposed to. 
and it was doing the conditional code when there wasn't a gem and that was exactly what we wanted and there you go i hope this video helped if it did please like and subscribe thanks for watching